Great news, folks. It's April 17th, 2024, and finally the whole range of the 2024 KTM and Husqvarna trail bikes can use the map switch. We have four fantastic maps in it. Two power maps, two traction control maps, and you could also utilize the quick shift feature if you wanted to. Stay tuned. As always, I'm Dave and this is the Best Dual Sport Bikes channel. I gotta tell you what, for under $500 for a reprogrammed ECU with the two great power maps in it, trash control in both maps that alters power so you get four completely different maps. One that's just hugely performance based, the motocross kind of stuff, the hold on, and smile kind of stuff and then the second one the green map which we've wised up and it's taken a while to get it sorted out we needed good riding weather because it's all about riding i will show you the dyno stuff in the in a second but this is all really about riding now the difference between the white and the green we maintain the same great fueling and ignition timing down in the green map up until 4000 rpm so there's no flame outs. We could make it more docile on the very bottom, but there's an increased risk of flame outs and nobody wants that. But after that, we make it a little bit leaner than normal, which kind of helps docile power down, but we also really start to kill off ignition timing. So what good is that for? Well, it's great for general overall riding. It's great for things like general riding because you're gonna get a bit better mileage and you will lose some power, but the bike still makes so much power, it's not that big of a deal. Also, if you wanted to go down to Mexico and you needed to run around on Pemex, you could do that without risk of damage to your engine. So all these phases have been tested with it and that makes it huge. Also in the traction control, when you hit that, it really kind of flattens out in both Gears. In fact, first, the white map, the powerful map with trash control is actually slower and more docile than the green map without trash control. And then when you turn trash control on in green, it's the same kind of docile jump. So you have four big, huge deals there. And the whole thing with this switch is under $500. Also keep in mind that you could utilize the quick shift feature now if you wanted to you would however have to take it back to the dealer because the dealer has to time the ecu to the interruptions in voltage between the gears that's what lets the bike quick shift when you touch that shift lever a voltage signal goes out from the gear position selector to the ecu to let them know we're in between gears and it interrupts the, igni the, uh, the ignition signal real quick and kills it so you can bang between the gears without problems with the engine. I highly recommend to not do that because it is not a very friendly feature. You touch that shift lever, just breathe on it and, uh, and it shuts off. So you think there's something wrong. You better commit when you shift or you're not gonna like it. And I would just stay away from that. But if you were doing something like Supermoto or you really wanted it, you could do that. So with all those functions, you would have to be dumber than a taco having sex with the mule. And that's really hard to do because that's extremely dumb and ugly um, to realize that there's not a better deal 
in the industry. Keeping all that in mind, let's now go look at the dyno runs. Oh, I'm gonna go around the white map first, and then I switch to the green map. You can see what that did. And then I hit trash and control in the white map, and you can see, I go back to the white map, and I hit trash and control in the white map. You can see how that kind of killed it. Now I can... Pretty impressive, I'd say. Again, with the green map aspect of it, uh, you get a more docile sense when you're riding it after 4,000. That's wide open stuff. So that's picking up different things than when you're actually in the middle and kind of riding things. But the trash control side where you really kind of, you heard it and kind of saw it go flat, you really do feel that everywhere when you're out on the trail. So if you wanted to dumb things down, out on the trail, you really are better just switching into trash control than you are from going to the power vault to the green map. The green map is great though for general trips, things where you'd like a little bit better mileage. And of course, the air fuel ratios are 100% safe, right about 14 to one with open exhaust, open intake, I'm at sea level. Uh, you even did it with the air box lid off to get the maximum amount of air to it and the two-stroke air filter cage in it. So there's no situation where you're gonna be 